Hey everyone. So I'm going to try to do a macro video in one go. Um, if I can remember everything. I, I wrote it down on like my notepad, so if I have to, I can just like alt tab and look at it. But I'm going to do four different things. There's a lot of macros you could do, but I'm just going to do a simple uh, gear swapping. Then something about ping, something about splitting, and the last one that just escapes me is... Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember now. It's going to involve that new column row thing that they added. So first of all, might as well start with gear because that's the most important thing. I have macros for MR, MA attack for PVE, and PVE MR. So basically, you know, I just, if you go into your macros, which is default U, and you hit new, let's say you hit new, like whatever, I'll hit a new macro, name it to, well, I don't know, high, and then, Just change things and let's give it the uh, let's just give it the star macro or the star account because that looks nice. Then I put on I don't know my shardies. You can just drag anything here. The thing I want to point out though is that duplicates of armor in your inventory will not play well together. So I have two pairs of Karun chasses right here or chasses chasses. I don't know. One of them has crit strike. One of them has MR. So there's actually a problem that I get encountered when it comes to using that kind of thing where my PVE macro because I have a bunch of Primal Spirit from uh, Elementus, Argent, whatever and then I have, you know, I shouldn't be using my Dranium Switch because it's conditioning but I have a TMA Guard Halberd but the problem are the pants here because I have a pair that has MR and a pair that has Crit the reason I have Crit in them is because I have nothing better to use right now for my pants so actually for this exception I have, you know, I push the macro then I have to go out and manually swap the pants that's a downside, but I'm gonna go back into that later with something else that's pretty neat. Make sure I auto arrange because that's important for later. So that's pretty much it for gear. I think that explains everything I need to. You know, you can name it, label it, pick a picture, and then just drag anything on here. Duplicates don't stack or play well, whatever. Currently, when I swap accessories, I do have them all listed here, and I have duplicates, but it works most of the time. Sometimes, though, it doesn't do work, and you have, you know, this problem where three, there's three of one item in an inventory, so you have to go and equip something. Okay, so next is ping. I like having a ping macro just because sometimes you lag like crazy, and you don't want to keep doing slash ping, because maybe it's because you're lagging, or it, it looks delayed. So I just have ping and then delay 5, which is 5 seconds, and it'll just, you know, if I push it right now, it's going to tell my ping is 81. It's going to wait like 5 seconds. It'll do the check again at the moment. If you're lagging, it'll obviously take a little bit longer. So 115, 81. I mean, you get the picture. Another problem with this macro, or any in general, is that if you use any skill, they will be interrupted. If you get hit by any skill, they'll also be interrupted. So let's say I'm doing the ping again, right? I do like that. And then I hit my lucidity, it's going to say macro complete. Same goes for armor. If you're getting hit by like dots, it'll interrupt your armor and just totally mess you up. I think armor is actually the harder thing to swap while you're in combat because if you're getting hit, it'll just mess up and you have to go into inventory and start like swapping out stuff. I've done it before in videos, you've probably seen it at some point or another. Okay, hi, so I apologize for this video being all over the place. I couldn't do it all in one go because... I just, I learned things as I was doing the videos, so I figured I'd redo some parts and just cut them in, but it'll be shorter and more precise. So this one's going to just detail using the column and rows, as well as splitting. So it's going to take in three different aspects, well, two, I guess, because column and rows are the same thing. Basically, all for this macro you have to do is slash use, and then column number, row number. So I have column 9, row 10, which is this one. And if I hit this, it's going to go ahead and split 12 items total, which is crazy. If I'm not lagging, of course. I was doing this like already once, and I was lagging like pretty bad, so I'm pretty sure that affects your ability to split concisely. Like, instead of splitting every time, it would delay and just interrupt one split, but this time I think it's going to go off without a hinge, because I'm not lagging as much. And that's a really awesome use for the new slash use macro, because, or slash use column row macro, because they added this in 3.7, and if you're in Europe, I'm not sure if you have this yet, but this allows you to split more items, so you can all tab longer, <laughs> is basically what I'm thinking. And there you go, just split all 12 of those. That's awesome, and that'll be a much shorter way to show myself splitting and using the row column thing. So, in the case of that, I don't have to cut back to the old clip where I was like showing 
um, the ending and stuff, then I'll just pretty much say that you can do macros for armor, buffs even. Like, if you really want to do buffs, I don't believe in, like, using macros for buffs, but you could do, like, T, T, I don't know. And then put, uh, I think it's, like, skill, blessing of rock? I'm not 100% sure on this. No, it's not. Is it use skill? Can I just drag a skill? Oh, okay. I have to put the number, der, blessing of rock one. Yeah, I mean, you can do that for like, I don't know if you really want to put blessing of rock and blessing of health, right? Blessing of health two. <laughs> Push to talk, of course, is the chaos. I'll put like, uh, there's an animation of, I don't know, say 0.5. I don't know what the actual, I'm sure you could do like a science about this. But there's a delay, unless you like jump shot it. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> I wonder if this will work. No, it won't. You need like a delay, even if you jump cast, jump shot. Not jump cast, jump shot. <laughs> yeah, you could put point 0.1 seconds and just jump shot it. But that's too much an effort. I just, you know, hit the buttons because it's it's right there. And you can do it for, I guess, consecutive skills, like... But I don't believe in that kind of thing. Like, if I PvP, everything will just flow as I need to use it, so... Yeah, that's... Whoa. That's lag. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I can think of for the macros. Um, So I have the gear, I have splitting, and I have ping. But not the order I just said them, because I would put ping before this. Anyway, I hope this is helpful to everyone, so I will now end the video and think of other things to do, because... Like I said before, well, um, yay, everyone has their forts, yay, but I'm going to log off, so bye-bye.